next part of electrochemistry. So here I will go for how we we'll apply the nonst equation. So that is called application of nonst equation. So what are the applications of nonst equation? Number one, it help to calculate the cell potential. So that is the first equation, the first application. It help to calculate the cell potential even the cell is under non-standard condition. Even the cell is under non-standard condition. Number two, it also help to calculate the concentration of unknown solution. It help to calculate the concentration of unknown solution. So its concentration we cannot, we can be calculated by using the non equation. Number three, it also help to calculate the equilibrium <coughs> constant of a reversible cell reaction. Number four, it also help to calculate the solubility product. <coughs> solubility product. Number five, it also help to calculate the pH of unknown solution present in electrolyte. So here, let's say I will go for the first one. The calculation of cell potential of a non-standard solution. So, how we calculate the cell potential of a non-standard solution by using the non equation? We know the non equation in general is your E cell is equal to E naught cell minus zero point zero minus two point three zero three RT by NF into log Q. And when we will take this non equation at a standard temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius, already we proved that is your E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.059 by N into log Q. So when we we'll go for the some numericals, if the temperature has given 25 degrees Celsius, then we will apply this equation. And if the temperature has not given, then we will consider that reaction should be at 25 degrees Celsius. Then we will apply this equation. And if any temperature except the 25 degrees Celsius has given, then we will apply this equation. So let's say I will calculate the cell potential of a non standard solution. So, how to calculate? Let one of the equation has given here is let's say. is copper to copper 2 plus solvage has given here let's say AG plus sorry AG has given the concentration of copper 2 plus here as given let's say is 0 0.1 molar and the concentration of Ag plus here let's say it has given 0 0.2 molar 0 0.2 molar let this is Ag and let the given data of E naught of copper to copper 2 plus as given is let's say minus 0 0.34 voltage and let's say E naught of Ag plus to Ag has given 0 0.80 voltage. Now I want to calculate the cell potential of this cell. And this cell is a non-standard cell. How to get that this cell is non-standard cell? As the concentration what I have taken is 0 0.1 molar and 0 0.2 molar. So that indicates we are taking this cell under the non-standard concentration solution. If the concentration of solution in both cases is 1 molar, then we can say it is a standard solution when the temperature is 25 and pressure is 180. But as the concentration here is different, that indicates the cell is a non-standard cell. So we will now calculate the cell potential of this non-standard cell by using the non equation. And here the temperature has not given, that indicates we will consider the temperature will be 25 degrees Celsius. So, we will put the formula E cell is equal to inner cell minus 0 0.059 by N into log Q. <coughs> so, first of all, if I want to write this non equation, what is the non equation? E cell is equal to inner cell minus 0 0.059 by N into log Q. Then, what are the unknown part present? First of all, we will calculate the inner cell. Then, after we will calculate the N value. Then, after we will calculate the Q value. Then 
we will go for this one. If I will go for the n calculation and q calculation, then it required first to write the so cell reaction. So what is the cell reaction? We know in the left side of the salt bridge is the anode and the right side of the salt bridge is cathode. So this part is always a oxidation part. And what is the oxidation reaction at anode? At anode the oxidation reaction is copper is converted to copper 2 plus. So how many electron I will add? I will add 2 electron in the right hand side. So I will add the 2 electron here. And at the cathode what is the reaction? At the cathode the reaction is Ag plus is converted to Ag. So how many electron I will add here? I will add 1 electron. So what is the net cell reaction? So when we we'll go for the net cell reaction, I will multiply here 2 to cancel the electron. So here 2 electron, 2 electron will be cancelled. So the net cell reaction is now becomes copper plus 2 Ag plus give rise copper 2 plus plus 2 Ag. And what is the n here? n is 2 because number of electron cancel for the net cell reaction is 2. Now I will find out what is the Q value for this. So the Q value I can write the Q is your concentration of copper 2 plus into concentration of Ag to the power 2 divided by concentration of copper into concentration of Ag plus to the power 2. So that is the concentration of copper 2 plus from the product side into concentration of Ag to the power 2 divided by concentration of copper into concentration of Ag plus to the power 2. Now what is the concentration of copper 2 plus? It has given 0 0.1. So I am writing 0 0.1. What is the concentration of Ag? As it is a pure solid, so we will take its concentration is 1 to the power 2. What is the concentration of copper? It is also a pure solid we will take. Its concentration is 1. What is the concentration of Ag plus? It has given 0 0.2. So that is 0 0.2 to the power 2. So that is equal to, I can write, that is that is equal to 0 0.1 into 1 square by 1 into 0 0.2 square. So that is 0 0.1 by 0 0.04. So we are getting the Q value is 0 0.1 by 0 0.04. So that can be written as 10 by 4. So if you write that is 1 by 10 into that is 100 by 4. So that is 10 by 4. So that is the value of Q we are getting. So now I am getting the value of Q is 10 by 4. I am getting the value of N is 2. Now we will go for the calculation of inner sign. So here Q is 10 by 4. So now we will go for the calculation of inner cell. So how we will calculate the inner cell? We know the inner cell is your E0 oxidation potential at N0 that is the oxidation potential at N0 plus E0 reduction potential at cathode. So what is the E0 oxidation potential at N0? At N0 it is copper 2 copper 2 plus. So I will write that is your E0 copper is converted to copper 2 plus plus E0 reduction potential at cathode. What is the reduction potential at cathode? That is the reduction is Ag plus 2 Ag. So I will write E0 Ag plus 2 Ag. So what is the E0 copper 2 copper 2 plus? The value was given that is your minus 0 0.34 voltage. So that is minus 0 0.34 voltage plus Ag plus 2 Ag has given 0 0.80 voltage. So what will be the value? So that will be 0 0.46 voltage. So we are getting the E0 cell is 0 0.46 voltage. Now I will put all this value in this nonce equation. So when I will put all this value in the nonce equation, what you will get? I can write now what is E cell? E cell is equal to E naught cell is your 0 0.46 minus 0 0.059 by n is your 2 into log q by 4 is your log 10 by 4. Now I can write that is your 0 0.46 minus 0 0.059 by 2 into I can write that is your log 10 minus log 4. So that implies I can write that is your 0 0.46 minus 0 0.059 by 2 into log 10 value is your 1 minus log 4 value is 0 0.6 because we know log 2 is 0 0.3010 so log 4 means log 2 to the power 2 so that is 2 log 2 2 log 2 means that is 2 into 0 0.3010 so I am putting this is 0 0.6 so this is your 0 0.46 minus this value is approximately equal to 0 0.03 so that is 0 0.03 into 
that is your 0 0.04 0 0.4 so this is equal to I can write 0 0.46 minus that is 0 0.12 so that is equal to 0 0.3 Four voltage. So we are getting the cell potential value of this cell is 0 